Well, here we have Claustrophobic, a map by Local Duck for a vine sauce competition. Let's give it a shot on hard mode. Um, so yeah, mouse look and uh, jump and crouch are disabled. When mouse look is disabled, that... Electronically locked, find a near, nearby terminal. Uh, anyway, when mouse look is disabled, that leads me to believe there might be shootable switches for progression. Anyway, this has 350 kills, bunch of items, six secrets, claustrophobic. So I open that. Oh, that's a secret. Kind of some weird alignments in here. I don't know, maybe intentional, it's only in the corners. Um, it has no music. Um, that doesn't really sit right with me, so I'm probably going to turn something on. Because I imagine he just removed the map one music. Um, these are kind of oddly aligned there and there. So I'm assuming I could use any of the other 31 Doom 2 tracks, but we'll see. Um, I don't know, it's claustrophobic, so I'm trying to think of what might be a suitable music. So far, pretty simple. Just a lot of tech green hallways and stuff. Well, it's tech-based for now, so maybe we'll use one of the first uh, maps. We'll use underhauls for now. Maybe we'll change it as we go through. Do all these doors open them? Oh. These might be supposed to be unpegged. Um, so yeah, I don't know, maybe I'll, if, if we end up, uh, like outside or something, maybe we'll change the music. It's called claustrophobic, so I don't really expect to be, I don't know, I guess I expect it to be tighter than this as well, but I don't know, we'll see. So, we've got a bunch of doors that don't really lead anywhere, we'll keep going. That was locked. Disable security. A little bit of a crate. Maze, if you will. <laughs> Alright, I guess I go that way. <laughs> so yeah, appearance-wise, it's pretty basic. I mean, it's just tech everywhere, a few things to break it up some crates, and now we get to the metal section, from the looks of it. Did I miss a shotgun? It's a lot of pistol already. Did I explore every room? Whatever. So I gotta, I'm gonna come back there eventually, I guess, because that door's locked. Nice to have the little uh, messages. Uh, oh, that disables the security. Okay. Which means I can open. It's already open. Wow, oh, that's really bad aim. There's a shotgun.
could use the focus music. Well, the tech green. Yeah, it really isn't too much to look at so far. Um, not really that interesting so far, except for the locked doors and things like that. A little bit misaligned there. Um, this way. Seems like there are always a few doors to choose, and. Okay, that one's main sense. Oh, they are invisible. Okay. I've never really liked that. So that's a that's unfortunate, but we'll keep an eye out. For those, I guess. Might call that misaligned. There's another invisible limb. On GZ Doom 3.5.1, by the way, it's the latest one I ever downloaded. So apparently, it, it's only been tested with 3.4 and above. So and that's an automatic save. All right, so now I can uh, go back to the other door, which is here. It's already open again. Okay, so now we got a new section. Now we've got a, uh... Actually, I kind of missed this one. So we were tech green. Then we were metal for a little bit. Now we had star gray. Now we have, uh... Uh, bronze. And another three doors. Probably only one of them is... Takes me very far. Lockdown. Okay. Power. So we got lockdown and main power. Two different things. Let's grab these right away. I can get that same gun. Alright. It's kind of a cool little trap there. Descend down the stairs. Now we've got cement. Oh. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I like the way that happened. Okay, so now I can go back up. That's good. But I can also go to this side. These lifts are kind of funky, it seems. Okay, so there's my lockdown. So that opened that one up, but we still got this one. I'm gonna go ahead and mark this, I think, because I might forget about that. And I'm gonna save. Oh, we are going outside. So uh, this is uh, what is this called? Claustrophobic. Although it's my only, I never used 3.5.1, as you can see. Oh, look at this! Now we're outside in the 
fogginess. I, I know just the music for this, I think. There we go. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Is he stuck in there? Yeah, demons have a pretty big... Oh, wow, I'm not even paying attention. Demons have a pretty big hitbox, so... They need a full, what, 60? To be able to go up the stairs. Actually, I don't think they need all of it, but... Apparently they need more than that. A bunch of misalignments right here. Boom, 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 boom. Well, this is quite the change, but I like it. It's not exactly claustrophobic. But who cares? The title doesn't really need to... that thematic or that uh, representative of the map. Okay, so we got a door here on a switch. This line is... Well, we also had a cave. There are six secrets, I've got two. I've killed 53, about one seventh, 15 percent of the enemies. Um, so I feel like I maybe should have another weapon by now. There was kind of a lot of pistol action, actually. And now there's kind of a lot of shotgun action. That's the only weapon I have, so I need to kind of conserve it a little bit here. Staircase. Oh, he's in this game. They have extra health? They seem like a lot of pistol shots for him. And I feel like a couple of times... They survive the shack. like a little dark tunnel somewhere over here. Secret little side quest here. Ah. Oh, 
not connect with them at all, apparently. Alright. I like that it's a big side quest. The thing I'm noticing, though, about this map visually is that it's kind of just... I select my texture, and boom, there it is. So in here it's like wood. A few of these woods, but mostly this wood right here. Wood floor, wood everything. Some crates in the middle to spice it up. Not much lighting going on. Out here... Where is it? In the cave, look, this is like all the way through. You got that all the way on the outside, and you got these for the interior part. Nothing to it. So yeah, it's a little bit bland visually, especially since it's made for advanced GZ Doom. about their stats. I'm gonna save here, by the way. This area, um, I don't know, this area is kind of just superfluous. It's kind of the same as the previous area, just another version of it. Kind of the rest, classic recipe for camping. That's kind of unfortunate that I have to walk all the way back. It'd be nice if there was a teleporter, or I don't know, maybe just the map were designed in such a way that I didn't have to do this. Especially without repopulating the map with more monsters. It's just a full backtrack with nothing to show for it. Oh wait, I never really went in here, did I? No. Uh, opens it again? Okay. So yeah, and here you've got the gray wall. You know, you had the tech green, you had the gray wall. Okay, so I need one more switch for that. And then this one was... Is that open now? I'm not sure. What was that? Go check quick. <laughs> yeah, main power for both of those, okay. So one more switch somewhere, and I should be able to get both. Um, 
Both there. No, both here. So I'll put a mark there. Oh, I didn't want it there, but close enough. Okay, looks like we got two areas we can go down. Slime area, huh? And there's the suit. Oh, there's a okay. Alright, let's go check out that other area quick before I do any of that. It's kind of clever to put the chain gunner up here. Yeah, I just feel like. Visually, it's kind of bare. It's kind of just choose your theme and don't really decorate it much beyond that. It's just here's my gray wall section. You get a little bit of lighting with the mid space. But for the most part, it's just kind of here's my wall. are really getting me. I still don't have a chain gun, that's rough. Okay, so these are going to be main power doors, huh? This room, I mean, it's it's cool. It's functionally pretty good, but it's all just this comp. Wait, what? I'm not sure what's going on here. I feel like I've got two different systems that require two switches going on at once.
Alright, so it seems like I just gotta go in that other area that I abandoned. How do I get there? change the music just for fun to um what and change it to what's good sewer music I'll go with that sure something. Oops. It's definitely a lot of health. And I have a hard time believing that's the first chain gun available. A few more marked spots to check out though. I think one was back over here. Huh. Uh 
I'm confused then. See that before. Okay, well, this is... Did I not hit the switches? I mean, it said all systems active or whatever. the sewer and make sure we hit the, not the sewer, the cave. Make sure we actually hit all the switches. Now that was just a secret. There's nothing in there. But I came up here. Did all this. What was that? This switch and said power was on. Or at least half. something up in the sewer?
<coughs> so they're online and functioning. Turn the power on in order to hit a switch, I believe, at some point. This is just weird here, though. Alright, so now I should be able to go here. Oh, That's not the teleport facility, the teleport facility is way back towards the beginning.
пожалуйста. change my music yet.
Getting more and more opened up. Oh, okay, well, I'm screwed. Okay, so that that monster for sure got changed. His stats. I pumped, what, 10 shells into him? What is it telling for? Probably the one we've been waiting for all this time. We still have 130 enemies, wow. Yeah, the map's kind of worn out its welcome a little bit to me. Um, I feel like it's time for a better weapon and...
Go into that one. That's what I wanted. That kind of reminded me of Circle of Death, so... This is a big old map. I mean, we just keep getting away from what I thought was my objective, you know? It's like a map of side quests, almost. So I gotta go through every teleporter? Yeah, it's just kind of an overwhelming feeling of... When am I gonna get back to what I was doing in the first place? They open that. I don't know. Visually, I mean, you, you just kind of, you kind of get the sense that it's just, here's my texture, and in this case it's Startan 3, I believe, and so we'll just do that. We'll just put everything in Startan 3, and then we'll add a little bit of detail here and there. We'll put in some metal, put in some lights, but you can still kind of see the overarching Startan. And that's kind of how every area has been. So that'll open that door. That was over. Where was it? There we go. Still nothing stronger than the Super Shark. So yeah, now we're in a star gray area. It's got nice details to accentuate it, but it kind of just doesn't take away from the fact that the whole thing is star gray. One more to go. Oh, that's convenient. Okay. Cells. 
40 already, but I feel like that might just be from backpacks. I don't know what that one does. I'd say in general there probably are just too many doors. over again, huh? for the big guns. so many sequences it just becomes I don't know it's a weird feeling I feel just kind of overworked <laughs> now I can probably go out that other door no now I can hit the switch Kill some barons. gotten all three, which means... I don't know what means. Oh. Actually could have done that a while ago, I think. I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure what I was trying to accomplish anymore. Apparently that. Hellish out here. 
Well, goodness, if that was the first rocket launcher and first plasma, and that still, I think, was way too long. This is probably just a boss fight in the end. kind of what I've been waiting for the whole map, a little bit of more uh, mid-tier combat, I guess, you know, rockets and some plasma and some 500 hit point monsters. Fortunately, we waited to the very end to get a little bit.
Cyber Demon. Oh, that's not good. I do like this send area where everything, the scenery keeps changing a little bit. Pretty cool. Nice colors and everything. Not sure how to prove my worth though. There's gotta be another switch, right? I just have extra health. Yeah, there's no way he should survive that. Ever. Ever. That hell I had about a thousand hit points. Either that or... The shotgun's affected. I'm thinking the shotgun's changed. Maybe not. I don't know. Some of them do. Shouldn't take eight rockets. Should take more than two rockets on a weapon. Boss cut, 2500. Good to know. Teleporting certainly makes it interesting. Seems like you can go anywhere. Okay. I had him dead to rights and he teleported.
I don't really like that he continues to target you when he teleports. But other than that, I really don't mind this boss. Goodness. <laughs> Alright. Well, I really do like that ending. Uh, once you get outside and you have some, you know, some big weapons and some ammo, um, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, I would have just... It looked like you could have gotten the exit before killing the boss, and if I had been pissed off at the end, I would have just rushed the exit. I like... There's a few things I like about the boss. Number one is the health meter. I love that because, you know, you, you show me an arch file, I think uh, 700 hit points, right? But, uh, um, you know, if you have a health meter, then I know what I'm working with. That's one of the main things I don't like about custom bosses a lot of the times. It was still basically an arch file, but I knew that it had that much health, so it worked fine. Um, I don't like some of the other monsters just having their hit points altered. Um, either that or all the guns are not as powerful as they normally are. I, I didn't sense that, except I thought it might be true of the Spectre Imps. But I don't know, something something wasn't adding up with, with uh, some of the monsters' health and or the power of some of the guns, so I'm not sure what exactly happened there. Um, not my favorite thing, you know, you expect that you shoot a Hell Knight three times with Super Shotgun, it's going to die 100% of the time, so without me knowing that that's not the case, that's not really fair. The map itself, you know, it was okay, I, uh, I, I just got to a point where I felt overwhelmed, like, I kept going somewhere only to, to detour and hit three more switches to hit that one switch that opened that one switch that got you into that door. Um, that's kind of how the whole map played out, and also the combat just got a little old for so long having just shotgun, and uh, for a while it was just shotgun, and then I got a secret super shotgun, and then a chain gun finally, but it seemed like the weapon pickups were just too slow. You, know, you, can, you can always limit the ammo, you know, give me a plasma gun early, just don't give me many cells for it, give me a rocket launcher early, just don't give me all that many rockets for it, but the way it was, it was just so much of a, you know, uh, almost tedium with the shotgun and shotguns and chain gun for so long. Um, visually, it was it was it was okay. I, I, you did get the sense that it was like, here's my theme. It's star gray in this room. It's metal in this room. It's tech green in this room. And we'll add a few uh, little nice touches here and there. But you still sensed the overall monotony of the rooms. Um, but that ending part I thought looked very nice. It, it was still tidy, but I thought it looked cool. Um, so yeah, overall I, I do like the concept of, of the messages with all the switches and stuff. You know, imagine this map in like vanilla Doom where you don't get messages for anything. It, then it becomes a total switch hunt. So I like that aspect of it. I just still thought that you ended up sidetracking too much. It's like, here's what you gotta do, but first you gotta go through these three teleporters and 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 access two switches in each room and things like that so um, but yeah overall a uh, kind of a unique concept I uh, don't mind don't mind the map and when all is said and done just a little bit long for me to do the same thing for so long that's claustrophobic by uh, local duck <laughs>